South Africa's water systems are in a precarious state due to years of neglect and mismanagement. A government report released last year found that close to half of the country's water supply was being lost to leaks in deteriorating infrastructure. Not only that, but the Blue Dot paper also found that 46% of water is unsafe to drink because of poorly maintained water purification plants. It has already had an impact if you look at Itikweni, where they had major sewage pollution there. Um, so affecting the tourism industry. If you look at uh, Oranjeville and Denaisville, they're close to the Val Dam. Now with the water lettuce, um, it's also affected the tourism there. So once again, your economic uh, GDP is going to be affected. Um, and then also if you look at the businesses within Johannesburg itself, if there's no water supply, then unfortunately that also affects uh, economic activity. Residents and businesses across Gauteng province, the economic heartbeat of the country, have suffered several days without water over the past two weeks. This crisis has been a long time coming. It's the result of years and years of lack of investment in our public infrastructure. Public infrastructure is owned by all of us, but we've got to look after it. It means we've got to spend money on making it work, and we, we don't do that very well, um, especially in Joburg at the moment. Business lobby groups continue to raise concerns and warn of dire consequences. Last year, 30 people died in Limpopo after a cholera outbreak. The country's northernmost province has not only had to deal with water shortages, but unsafe drinking water too. Meanwhile, businesses are already suffering losses as they deal with unpredictable water provisions and rising expenses for alternative measures. Being the city of Joburg being the economic hub of the country, you have to make sure that this is going to be working, that our water is working. You can see businesses collapse. With energy, you can still make an alternative. But with water, the cost is dire. I mean, you, you have to just shut down your business. The power crisis has also had an impact on the country's water systems, although the president did announce in 2022 that all water plants would be exempt from load shedding. But by then, most of the damage had already been done. This is not going to be an easy fix for the government as it also needs to deal with increased urbanization as well as the impacts of climate change. And with elections on the horizon, it's unlikely that this crisis is going to receive the attention it needs. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.